this election? Oh. Uh, who 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 wins this this election? Oh. Uh, not China not who Russia. you're not who you're. I know you're not voting, but but if you had to predict who the winner will be, who's gonna win? Uh, China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran. That's who win this election. Explain China, that. Russia, North Korea, and Iran. That's who win this election. Explain what you mean by that. Uh, the American people don't win, no matter who win. If Kamala win, do you know how the world going to treat us? Because most Muslim countries won't even talk to her. They won't address her as a leader. If, 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 if Trump win, oh. Uh, We don't win. Nobody wins this election, buddy. Uh, this is the start of America's fall. This is when B Babylon began to fall. We're watching it. All right, you brothers heard that, man. You heard it? Let's listen in. Our president told us that he was confident enough to be president, that he's, he, he's okay. Only for him to back out and, and give us Kamala, somebody we didn't pick. She was given to us. Ah! So we don't win, homie. Who 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 wins this this election? Oh, uh, not China not who Russia. you're not who you're. I know you're not voting, but but if you had to predict who the winner will be, who's gonna win? Uh, China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran. That's who win this election. Explain China, that. China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran. That's who win this election. Explain what you mean by that. Oh, uh, the American people don't win, no matter who win. If Kamala win, do you know how the world going to treat us? Because most Muslim countries won't even talk to her. They won't address her as a leader. If, 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 if Trump win, oh, uh, We don't win. Yeah, he wanted to say black people, but really, it's Israelites. You know, keep listening. And the so-called black man is just one tribe out of the 12, okay, here in America, and those scattered abroad. Nobody wins this election, buddy. Uh, this is the start of America's fall. This is when Babylon began to fall. All right, so that's the point right there. Okay, that's when Babylon begins to fall. Let's get into it. Let's go get it. Yo, that's crazy. It was right there. And I didn't put it there, my brothers. I promise you. It was right there, man. This is a spiritual video, man. It's a spiritual, man. It's really going down, all right? It's exciting times, brothers. Revelation 18 and 1, man, this is crazy. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils in the hold of every foul spirit. In a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Now, let me say something, brothers. Now, America is the mixture and melting pot of the world. It's all societies, all cultures, all of that blended in to the one nation. So basically, with acceptance of everything... You know, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And that's what this is. You know, the freedom of so-called speech, which really they don't, you know, they censor everything. That's bullshit. But even having the freedom to speak on and say whatever you want, that, that can cause chaos. You know what I'm saying? That can incite all kinds of crazy madness. So even that one amendment is stupid. But we will use it to our advantage when we need to for purposes of preaching the scriptures. Okay, in our right to freedom of press, <clears throat> which basically is with the cameras, you know, we have the right to film in public places, which is where we go preaching. And really, it's for precautionary measures and also to 
get the word out across the four corners of the earth when it's uploaded the video or streamed live. But that's right, man. Babylon the Great is fallen. And it's the uh, cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Now, verse 3. Revelation 18 and 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And let's talk about spiritual fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High hath remembered her iniquities. All right? And why is that, my brothers? Simply put, Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. That which has been is now, and that which is to be hath already been. And the Most High requireth that which is past. Okay? And now, so those people who are the Edomites, they are going to pay for what they have done. But remember, this was all appointed unto them to do this evil. Now, why will you say? Because without the presence of evil, there would be no acknowledgement or no differentiation or proper presentation of good. Okay? Because you know how good good is by the presence of bad to contrast with the good. Okay? And that, that just makes sense. It's like... When you're with a really uh, uh, awesome chick who treats you good, you realize it when you've been treated bad. You know what? How good good is. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of a good thing to be treated bad first, and then at the latter time be treated well. Okay? The scriptures say the end of a thing is better than the beginning thereof, and uh, for that particular purpose, appreciation, experience learning, okay, all of those things. Like the scripture says, those things that are written aforetime were written for our learning, okay? Now, before I go into this, well, actually, matter of fact, let me say it. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay, so that's talking about Esau, Edom, and the other nations who are in league with them. All right. Let's go to um, this once more time. Okay. Let's let's listen into this, man. Are Bowden, but who 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 wins this this election? Oh, not China not who you're not who you're. I know you're not Bowden, but but if you had to predict who the winner will be, who's gonna win? Uh, China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran. That's who win this election. Explain China, that. Russia, North Korea, and Iran. That's who win this election. Explain what you mean by that. Oh, uh, the American people don't win, no matter who win. If Kamala win, do you know how the world gonna treat us? Because most Muslim countries won't even talk to her. They won't address her as a leader. If 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 Trump win, oh. Uh, We don't win. Nobody wins this election, buddy. Uh, this is the start of America's fall. This is when B Babylon began to fall. We watch it. All right, now let's let's see the comments and see what they're saying. He's always on point. Might as well vote for Charleston White at this point. Okay, this guy, we don't know if he's a Jake or not. You may say he looked like a so-called white man. You don't know. There's a lot of people may agree with him, but I do think our best bet is Trump. This is a dummy. Somebody that don't know nothing about anything. Tony Toka said, this man always spitting the truth. And he, he really don't know the truth. He'll say certain things that are true, but he don't know the truth. All right. He's not spitting the truth. In this particular matter, he is correct. 
on this because he got it from the Bible. The same Bible he said he don't believe in. This is a stupid man. He's a dummy. But, you know, out of the mouth of babes, you know what I'm saying? The Lord will speak to his people. And that's just basically, ultimately, sometimes people say stuff, they don't even know what they're saying, and the Lord's doing it, you know? Period. So I said, yeah, the fall of Babylon. And let me see what people say to it. Exactly. Only a fool lets another man dictate his future to him. You are powerless and are forfeiting creative power and ranting of a man who gets paid to make you docile in your thinking and actions. Man, shut up, man. That's a dummy with a nothing for a... Uh, he's one of them deceivers. I notice he's not saying black anymore. The check must be nice. How about this one here? It's all spiritual, and the players are set up on this chess game. And the most high is about to say checkmate. All praises to the most high. So that's probably some Israelite um, person. Because by most high, they're implying the God of the Bible. Because nobody else refers to them as the most high. But really, what about Yahweh Shai, man? These people don't even care about Yahweh Shai. It's insane, man. The stage has been set for many years. Yeah, it's true. Even Charleston knows the most high is near. Right. The beginning of Babylon fall. He on point. You don't know what you're talking about, lady. You don't know what you're talking about. It's Babylon the Great, first and foremost. You are so right, brother. It's telling you the truth. God bless us all. Some Nigerian flag, weird shit. Some weird shit with a Muslim joint on it. Bugged out, man. These people, I don't know what the hell is going on here. Okay. So y'all brothers heard that, man. Let me just rewind it. This is when Babylon began to fall. We watch it. Start of America's fall. This is when Babylon began to fall. We watching it. Our president told us that he was confident enough to be president, that he's, he, he's okay, only for him to back out and, and give us Kamala, somebody we didn't pick. She was given to us. Ah! So we don't win, homie. Who, who, who wins? All right, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's a powerful thing. So, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay. So, yeah, man. Uh, deceiver. Let me see. Deceived. Oh, shit. Oh. All right. Deuteronomy 11 and 16. Take heed to yourselves that your heart be not deceived. That's talking about your mind. And ye turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. Now that's facts, man. Stay back, you know, watch out. Okay. Job of 15 and 31. Let not him that is deceived trust in vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense. Right? That's all these people. All these people. Okay? All these people. They're all ultimately going to be destroyed, you know, who are wicked. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Okay? And, uh, yeah, man, people are just going to keep doing this. This is biblical prophecy, 2 Timothy 3 and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Okay? And look, we can have compassion, but... You got to have a heart to repent, all right? 
Now we have compassion because the scriptures say here, Titus 3 and 3, for we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving differs, lusts, and pleasures, living in the malice and envy, hateful, and hating one another. That's right. But now, you know, like the scriptures say in Acts 17 and 30, at the time of this ignorance, the Most High winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Okay? It's time to repent. And yeah, he was right about uh, Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran. Those are all the allies that are all in league together to destroy America. And like Jeremiah Wright said, it's not God bless America, it's God damn America. <laughs> yes, sir, it's about to go down. And when it does go down, we gonna laugh, man. You know what I'm saying? And he gonna be caught, you know, basically destroyed, man. Call all y'all by some y'all was shot, man. So yeah, man, these people know what it is. I will play it one more time for this, you. This this election. Oh. Not China not who you're not who you're I know you're not voting, but but if you had to predict who the winner will be, who's gonna win? Uh China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran. That's who win this election. Explain. China, that. Russia. North Korean and Iran. That's who win this election. Explain what you mean by that. Oh, uh, the American people don't win, no matter who win. If Kamala win, do you know how the world going to treat us? Because most Muslim countries won't even talk to her. They won't address her as a leader. If, 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 if Trump win, oh, uh, we don't win. Nobody win this election, buddy. Uh, this is the start of America's fall. This is when Babylon began to fall. Right. And he got that all from the scriptures. Bear in mind. And remember, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, they were scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. And the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American and indigenous to this land, Native American, Latino, what not Latin tribes predominantly of, of native descent are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, AKA the lost tribes of the nation of Israel. Okay. Those tribes that took a year and a half to go all around the space of the coast of the continent called Africa over to the Americas. You know, they ultimately were here for years, man, for thousands of years. And then the so-called white man came over here and destroyed their ass around 1400, you know, AD. And that's when slavery started and then founded America. And here we are today, man. All right. So listen, man, this is your first time watching this channel. Repent. If you're an Israelite, obviously, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Shalom.